Steffes Group, selling land and the equipment to farm it. Roughly 600 acres of beautiful farming, hunting, and pasture land are up for auction, and there's only one opportunity to own it all. The two Raggetts brothers, BJ, an entrepreneur, and John, a rodeo professional, along with their families, have put plenty of sweat equity into this beautiful and functional property. This land features tillable land, plenty of pasture ground, and a custom rodeo ring built by the Raggetts family. The grounds are full of winding creeks, rolling hillsides, and an expansive recreational hunting ground. A personal tour by John Raggetts let us see just how resourceful this land is, while also cluing us in on his professional rodeo career and his family's personal footprint on the property. Oh, when I first got into it, I was a little kid, probably about six years old, um, and going to Little Bridges Rodeos and Junior Rodeos. I got a little older, we, I started riding bulls and bareback horses, and then I kind of dis discovered I was too big for that, and then uh, my main deal was became steer wrestling. Mm -hmm. When uh, getting a job right after college, I decided to see how I could do rodeoing professionally. Rodeoed full-time, that's all I did for a living. Rodeo is also how he met his wife, Allison. I met her in college. She was, uh, she was going to school in Dickinson, North Dakota, and we rodeoed in the same region in college. We moved to Oklahoma, or lived in Oklahoma, lived there for obviously three years, three and a half years, and then we moved back home here. Everything on the farm, everything was kind of um, not, I don't want to say run down, but maybe just kind of outdated, and we redid everything and kind of built everything up and put a new roof on it last year. Um, we uh, added on to the kitchen, added, around, added on to the porch, added the cedar to it, um, made another bedroom downstairs, uh, a little bit of everything. But the upgrades don't stop with the house. We kind of created this to where not just so much our kids, but uh, the area, the you know, the surrounding area, the, the kids that are involved in rodeo that want to come down and practice, and then not just kids, but uh, adults as well. Um, our doors are always, always open to people that want to come down and and practice and, and hang out or you know bring their kids down and compete. It's very very it's set up very good for that and, and, and we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Just next door to the rodeo ring is Spring Valley Meats, home to the freshest meat because of its proximity to its supply. This building was built for the demands of the meat market business and is up for grabs. It also has horse stalls in close vicinity to the house as well. So if you're in the meat business and looking to expand or move, take a look at this property. With land expanding to the back and all sides, there is vast potential for cattle farming as well. An interactive tour around the Raggett's land gave us a first-hand look at its attraction and functionality. Tract 1 is the largest tract with 156 acres of recreational beauty. Scattered throughout are walking trails and a creek with natural waterfalls, which makes it an attractive area for wildlife. Yeah, actually the first, uh, when I was maybe 10 years old, the first time I went deer hunting was right up here. Um, I went to hunt with my dad and we were sitting up here on a stump. This was before all the big fancy deer stands and stuff like that. And a nice 10 point buck come walking right through here, not too far from where we're at. And uh, had a great shot at him, but needless to say I got buck fever and uh, didn't shoot him. But uh, outstanding hunting through in this, in this area right here on track one. Track 6 is the next largest tract with a triple threat of tillable land, bountiful spread for grazing cattle, and wild game. Oh, there's a deer right up there. Yep. A, a natural funnel for deer to move through. Uh, we put that up about four years ago, and uh, it works great. I bring my kids up here hunting, my boys, and uh, we'll bring snacks, goodies, and kind of camp out all day. And uh, there's been many a deer shot in that, in that stand, and... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's great. It's in a great spot. What's the biggest deer you ever got out here? We shot a 14 pointer or seven by seven and he had a 23 and a half inch inside spread. But hunting land isn't all that the track has to offer. Approximately 20 acres are available for tilling and is home to marketable timber, mature walnut trees and ginseng. On the lower part of track six, you can find some of the most ideal pasture and grazing land. This pasture will hold roughly between 45 to 50 pair year round, drought or no drought, because if we don't get any rain, uh, the cows, the pears can go up in the woods and, and uh, forage and, and eat a lot of undergrowth to uh, sustain them until you pull them out of the pasture. Or if you're simply looking to expand your footprint to build a place of your own, this land has an opportunity for you. 
If you are thinking about building a, having a nice uh, weekend getaway or a beautiful building spot, this will be it. Uh, it's uh, 25 acres of tillable crop ground and overlooks track four. Um, the Grant River runs through it. Absolutely beautiful. And behind me is uh, track four, obviously. Um, on that hillside, there's great marketable timber, great hunting, and uh, lots of ginseng. This land has incredible potential to grow in many directions. Whether it's in farming, ranching, business, recreational use, or all of the above, you can choose what you want out of it. And come Monday, June 17th, when we auction off the land and machinery, you'll be given that opportunity. For more information, head to our website at stephasgroup.com or you can call us at our Litchfield location.